Wait, I am confused. Did Jasmine know Mr. Ebu wasn't going to survive or something? Because I was on TikTok, you know, trying to search for Mr. Ebu's TikTok account on, his, on TikTok. Because Mr. Ebu has over 1 million followers on TikTok. So I was only searching for that account. I couldn't find Mr. Ebu's account on TikTok. I found such, such, such. Can, can you, could you believe that Jasmine changed Mr. Ebu's account, TikTok account to her own? She changed it to her own. Look at this is a new name now. She changed it to her own name. And I'm wondering, uh, what is going on? She even deleted Mr. Ebu's videos on that TikTok account. I now search for Jasmine's own. Jasmine has her own personal account. This is it. She has 1.3 million followers. Now, Mr. Ebu, so she now changed Mr. Ebu's own. She did it to her own name, Jasmine, Jasmine underscore life. And I'm wondering, why? What is going on? Did she know that the man was, going to, was not going to survive? Because why would she change it? That was so sudden. Like, why? I was really shocked. What is her game? What is her, her aim? Why? It is well. Mr. Ebu, may so rest in peace. May he so rest in peace. For her to even go and change... Mr. Ebu's account to our own name. Ah, it is well, though. It is well. All right. So, as you all can see, a very sad news have hit the industry, the passing of Mr. Ebu. So, uh, Mr. Ebu went in for surgery today at 4 a.m. And he didn't come out again from the surgery. Uh, what is funny is that they went in for this surgery. I don't know. They didn't contact the people that are close to him because I asked somebody and he said he was not informed. And this is somebody that he was beside him throughout the period that he was in the hospital. You know, he said he was not informed. And then um, by six o'clock, boom, they called him and they told him that Mr. Ibu don't buy um all i can say is a lot of things may have said online about the whole issue now let me know what i don't see now let me know what me i don't hear so i'm not going to come out and start talking now you don't you don't buy to me it already buy since you understand based on what i saw to me it already buy it already buy before it already buy since so it was just um managing um it's so sad another advice i can give in this regard is that men you have to be really careful women you have to be really careful of a polygamous home men and women it's not even only about men men and women be careful about polygamy um some of them will be the end of you um for men if you're successful try as much as possible to so be careful of women that you bring into your life and women as well be careful of getting deceived by a man that is already a family man you understand that's the only thing i can say as to an advice you understand lastly all of us go by all of us go by at the end of the day mr Ibu went through a lot for the short period that i went to that hospital i'll tell you for free went through a lot the family were not really supportive that one i know for a fact they were not supportive at all crying out loud when I leave person for hospital they go drag money for outside <laughs> this life the best thing that you can ever happen to you is to have a good family around you and leave family and leave person and look at that go they drag money hey they arrest this one they arrest that one they arrest that one you understand not pointing accusing finger on anybody but I will say that the man had a very terrible family it's emotional to be very honest I'm emotional because um the guy is a legend, but then again, <laughs> they're all gonna buy at the end of the day. So rest in peace to Mr. Ibu. Um, a lot of us that genuinely love you, and then um, whatever thing that happened to you, by the grace of God, um, the people, everybody that made your life a living hell would actually, ah, you know what? Just um, rest in peace, rest in peace, Mr. Ibu. My illness was actually perpetrated by people that hate me. A lot happened to me that time. I don't have any brain anything. They actually said that uh, I'm partially mad. Then, ah, go Chris, are you Chris? They were all happy when they hear I was in the hospital and their hope is that I'm not coming back. But God is good. 
a little bit off for some uh, months, close to a year, but I'm back now. I'm ready to work. In fact, I'm about to go to location now to shoot a new movie. We are ready for the new movie. People are coming from Ghana. We have two white men in the in the work and some other Nigerians. We're about to start shoot now, but we are waiting for a few things that is happening in our nation now to pass through and then we'll have the environment free so we can start shooting uh, nigerian politics <laughs> actually i was involved uh, partially, but uh, the only thing different is that the the some situations where that story even self where we go, went to campaign i received slaps from some people that i don't even know but i stomach the slap because it doesn't mean anything to me I collected like three or four slaps free from my other, uh, other boys. Uh, where do I come here? Where do I come here? Where do I come here? Before I answer that question, Boza, you wouldn't even like the sound of the slap because the people that are slapping, they are idiots because their slap is not human. My illness was actually perpetrated by people that hate me. Then, um, they did what they did to me. And then uh, my daughter, all of them took me to the hospital. And the doctor, doctors, the white doc doctors. So the doctors are perfect. So they went into my system and they told me what was wrong and what they are going to do. I say, whatever you're going to do, please do it. Let me live. Because if I die like this, the enemies will laugh. And then the doctor say, okay, that's no problem. At a time, I didn't know what happened. I left. So whatever I was saying, they recorded it. I was saying something like somebody who is going home, actually. I wasn't actually seeing any, anybody. But the other side where I, am, where I was that time, I was seeing some people, but God brought me back. A lot happened to me that time, but it was perpetrated by somebody. It was perpetrated by somebody who want me dead. They were all happy when they hear I was in the hospital, and their hope is that I'm not coming back. But God is good. Uh, my sickness sounds like a big lesson to me. Because the pictures I saw in the system, I never expected them, but the issue is that God came in and took charge. As I speak to you, I'm surprised I'm here, alive. It was not easy. I've never experienced sickness like this before now. But when you have God, <laughs> no fear, no fear. Because I keep on and on and on and on praying. Day, night, morning, people are praying for me from places, churches, praying for me. Why would I die, Chris? Acting is one heavy work people don't even know. I belong to so many departments in the act. I run MCs of events, people events. I also go to schools, children's schools and mature schools to play with them. Sometimes I go to prison yard, I talk to them, play with them. Other things, I do work for so many people, both police, I do work for them. The police, army, navy, I do some uh, public state shows for them. And I feel happy about it. Because uh, the issue is that why they normally choose me because they say they are so into what they are doing because you know, 
I'm not a, a handsome man. So my face suits into anything. Anything, even native data thing. I do it perfectly. Because if I find now, they begin to put me for where fine girls there and all that. I don't want that one. I don't want that one. This is my face like this. Uh -huh. I resemble my grandfather. Like my face now. And that's people say, where are we all away from my face? They say my nose is not good. I say only nose, he say yes. He say I get better eye. Say my eye is sex. So they ask you now, is it true? The only place where I get problem now knows. Did just just go show show himself, take accommodation for my face. But no problem. I see the manager. I don't think that uh, the kind of food I eat. So many people don't like it because I don't really really eat rice much. And uh, I eat yam, but not much. I can only eat yam well if you pound it. I like good soup. Way better flexible vegetable day. And in the course of eating, let, let us have an accidental touch of fishes inside the soup. But there will be a managing director of the meat when go there where I'm not go pinch until I finish eating. If I carry them eat. There can be a lap of ch chicken. Can be any bush meat. Fine. Determination is success. Whatever you want to do in life, get focused. Try and know more about it before you start your own. Do try and ask questions to somebody that is greater than you. Get information before you go into the field. Because if you go into the field and you don't ask questions, you don't get all those things you're supposed to get. If you get there, you will drop. The masses will drop you. You won't go anywhere. Acting is so sweet. Acting don't enter my body. Uh, I'm so happy. <laughs>